Welcome to episode 12 of the Tyrone Miller Show, live on TrentonianTV.com. On Trentonian.com, which you can get the link. How y'all doing this week? I'm just happy to be here, man. It's a great week. If you didn't know, I was on national TV last week, and I'll be on national TV again on the 24th of June, 3 o'clock game show called Head Games Discovery Channel. So I'm not only on Trentonian TV, sometimes, you know, I'm on national TV too. I did a couple of other shows, you know, Worst Cooks in America. I did that. Been there. Been over on TV over 20 times, but I'm not going to toot my own horn. I'm tired of talking about myself. So if you want to enjoy it, Head Games, January, June 24th, 3 o'clock, Discovery Channel. If you got Comcast, that's Channel 42 in Trenton, because I got Comcast and I live in Trenton. All right, so bang. We're just going to get right into it, man. So boom. First guest of the day is stepping on in. Boom. Slide on over, brother. Yeah. This is a high-tech studio we got here. Boom. <clears throat> All right. So y'all see him, man. Y'all might have seen us in the paper together today. Now we're here live in the flesh, man. My man, John Gandhi, GPS, yes. and he shake like Gandhi too, man. It was a peaceful shake. You know, how some people get the aggressive shakes. He got the nice, friendly shake, man. It's a like, hard name to live up to, right? It is <laughs> absolutely, man. Absolutely, yeah. it is. So, got you. Gandhi. Yes. This, I want to. Yeah. I want to talk to the people. I want to tell y'all a story about this man. I met this man. Okay. It was about a. I ain't gonna say how many years ago. It was in the wow. last. It's within ten. Within the last ten, but it wasn't over five. Right. So, you know, I'm over there. I go to a, func a function with your, your your old associate that you used yes. to work real heavy with. Yes. And I walk up to this dude, talk to him. Then this 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 tall, skinny dude, the dude sitting <laughs> right here next to me, walks over and says, hey, bro, how you doing, man? Pleased to meet you. Yeah. I, was, look, I stopped looking. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing, man? So then he just keep going. Yeah, you want a cigarette? Yeah, I do want a cigarette, man. This dude is all right. So then by the end of the conversation, I became a fan of yours. And then Thank you. do you remember what I told you that day? It, it, very vaguely, um, some of us we got to keep it going. Yeah. Guys, guys like you were something that needs to refresh my memory. Because yeah. I, I mentioned that in that picture that I dug right. up from our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. You're right. I, I said that, but the first thing I said, right? Yo, you ain't from around here, are you? No, I'm not. first thing I said, <laughs> you ain't from Trenton, man. Because you this energy you got, man, right. it, it's friendly. Thank it's you. a good energy. I see Thank why you. they call you Gandhi, man. Thank you. Um, it's a hard name to live up to. My mom actually gave me that name. Um, and my my government is Uganda. So instead of calling me Uganda all the time, she broke that up and started calling me Gandhi when I was two. Right. I was so you Uganda like the country? Yes. yes. Oh, you from Uganda? So you, you African? Um, I'm from Jersey City. Oh, I am, man. I'm American. Yeah. It's PlayStation. Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> got to ask. Ain't the, it's cool. PlayStation cool. is American. I mean, it could it's, be kind of Japanese. Yeah, you know, it's made over Japanese, but yeah. in every household in America, is a PlayStation 1, 2, or 3. Or Xbox. Yeah. Yeah, I got sure. Xbox in my house, personally. <laughs> I'm more of an Xbox fan, <laughs> if you ask that. me. You know, so boom. GPS uh -huh. has started. Tell the people about GPS that's not familiar with it. Well, uh, actually, GPS has started uh, when I was doing some A&R re work from uh, Supreme Alliance. Right. Uh, Justin, um, uh, big outs to them guys. I still love you. They actually gave me my shot and showed me the ins and outs of the of, of the whole thing. That's that's what we was talking about earlier. Exactly. Yeah, I was at a Jess show. Yeah, they yeah, get Jess out here. So um, I, I remember I, come out, I came out to the city, and this wasn't nothing, you know, I, I'm, not, I'm not into the bars and the club, you know, the booty shake and stuff like that. So you into the booty shaking? Not really. Oh, you know, man, this is a good guy. I told you, Gandhi, man. I'm into the booty shaking. I'm married. I love booty shaking, man. Nice guy. Shaking booty. You you walk down the street, you see me, just start shaking your booty. Wow. Sorry to cut might, you off. That's cool. It's, it's absolutely cool. So, you know, we uh, got in touch with uh, the guys from the um, cafe, uh, Big Outs to uh, Jess, Tone, Chaz. And he gave me my first start, and that then where that's where GPS was born. Uh, the young man from Soul Focus, uh, Corey, name, yeah, Corey McCoy actually helped me come up with the mm -hmm. name. Lady Soul, big ups, you feel me? Um, I got in touch with the band, um, some of the dynamic poets from out here in the city. I mean, Polo. Oh my goodness, Polo. I, I, so many. I, I don't want to name one without naming them all. So you right, guys right. know I'm who sorry. you are. I'm sorry. I love you guys all. I'll be I'll be hitting you up on Facebook as soon as I get in the truck. He love all y'all. I really all love you. That comes my heart. Yeah, I believe it. Um, I know you Gandhi. Oh wow! And it just after that, the first couple of shows was at the Maxines. Mm -hmm. You know, big up the Maxines and uh, the Big Easy. Hello, I'm gonna be opening their doors soon. I'm trying to get in there. Now, Big Easy, yeah. you got GPS right here. <laughs> get them on in there. Hook Please it up. Go. Hook Please it go. up. And uh, that's when it. Yeah, I remember my first show. Like it was like six people came out. Right. And when, that's actually where I met my uh, fiance. That's where I met. Lady she Soul. met her at the first show. At the first oh, show. Oh man, that, that is a beautiful really story, was. man. It's something to tell the kids. Oh <laughs> man, that, that touched my heart right there, man. And uh, and, and that's we exactly, got Polo back there yeah, doing his thing. 
They actually went to school together. That's, that's yeah, a that bad is a dude. Deep, that yeah, is man. a deep young man. Hey, All jokes that's, aside. That's, that dude is sharp. Shout out, Polo, we need you on the show next, man. Please. Come on down, man. And, um, thanks to this young man for doing me like mentoring spiritually and he showed me the ins and outs. You know what? If you want to do an open mic show, yo, and I'm a poet, so we'll do it like this. And the word got around, man. Before you know it, Trenton was the, the come to spot. It he was. was doing something open mic, probably wanted to get heard. That's right. I mean, we had the capital city. Mm-hmm. You know that my man's club, you want to interview him next, man. So fresh. Mm-hmm. Man, Jersey fresh. That's I love right. that slogan. So if this is Garden State, then I guess, you know, Jersey's my backyard. Jersey's your backyard. You know? And I loved it. And it was all love. You know, uh, down at the cafe, uh, he had some unfortunate financial situations. And we had to close our doors after a four and a half year run. Mm. Okay. Four and a half years is a good run, Four and a half year run, man. And it's packed out shows. Uh, the guys, uh, big out, shout outs to the GPS band. Uh, those guys was on tour with Jill Scott. They on tour with Jill Scott? He just came off. Oh, you know I mean, man. Well, you know, the drummer. That's what I'm talking about, you know, man. Um, Trey, what's going on? I'll be hitting you shortly, Trey. Is that Jill Scott right No, there? that's oh, not Jill Scott, but the young lady did some man. work with Jill Scott. Oh, hey. Yeah, hey. she's hot. Stacy. Stacy is hot. Man. Shout out to her, man. She yeah, look her hot. Poetry, her poetry and everything is this is, is off the is off the chart. Oh, she do poetry. You know? Yeah, so there ain't gonna be no she booty does, shaking with her. No. Okay. Like, okay. There's some young ladies in there that did the booty shake thing, but yeah. they kind of kept it on the low. Yeah. Now, oh, okay. The, so they did the after part. Yeah, they would come to GPS and be GPS. right, yeah, but then after out. GPS, they yeah. would you know get down with the get down. Now that's um the man uh, from Underworld Entertainment, right? Oh yeah, that's Deuce. That's yeah, Deuce. Yeah, Deuce. Yeah, that's the booty shake king, right? Yeah, yeah, hey, man. I ain't talking enough booty shaking talk. Man, let's take yes, the GPS please, please. and all the good stuff. Please. So, yes. when's GPS coming back? Is it coming back? Oh, yes. Let the people yes. know. GPS will definitely be back on full effect. I'm trying my best to keep the show here in Trent. Where yeah. it originated, That's where, right. where it came to light at. Mm-hmm. I feel as, and now I'm a Trentonian, I owe that to the city. That's right. And I talked to uh, Mayor Mack the other day in front of uh, Big Easy. I was like, look, I'm not going to go nowhere. You talked you know? to Mayor Mack? Yeah. What are you talking about, man? I've been talking about getting the shows back out here, and I want that park over there. Uh, uh, the one on? Mill Hill Park with yeah. the, the concrete steps. Mm-hmm. I had a show there a couple of years ago. That's that's you know, a good place to have a show. Met, you know, what yeah. I mean, they let me out in there and um, packed it out. Mm, yeah. This year, well, hopefully this year, come July, I'd like to do this on a larger scale and get some vendors out there. You know, this whole stop the violent, you know, no no movement. You know, I spoke to when I spoke to Mayor Booker, he was like, you know, Gandhi, Trenton is going through a, a transitional stage. You mm-hmm. know, then Newark was there too. Right. It used to be wild. Jersey City used to be off the chain. Yeah, yeah. You know, still, and now you go there now, you can, you know, make a pretty penny doing what we do. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So I think that's just, you know, for the for Trenton, we're gonna be all, we're gonna be all right. It's gonna turn around. We're gonna be all right. We're gonna lead the revolution. Of course. And I and I and I quote real quick if I may, I quote what uh, Bob Marley said. Uh, he said, "Bad people are trying to change the world every day. So why should I take a day off?" That's right. You shouldn't, man. I mean. It's hard not to take a day off at all, man. I, I take days off, man. Sometimes I get tired. I understand. Yeah, I mean, I ain't, you, I ain't got the Bob Marley spirit in me, man. You know, I need days off. You, I understand. You can do it, man. I'm trying my best. That's why they man. named you Gandhi, man. And, and and God bless to the city. Shout out to the whole city of Trenton. You know, whole shout out to Trent Tony for letting me come here. And, and, yeah. and the guys are awesome. Yeah, you guys are really awesome. I'm shout like, out to Joey, too. man. Shout out to Joey. Because Joey. Joey, the producer, is actually the is one he? that linked it in. Okay. Because you remember, he seen the picture. I, I thought of you, but wow. I didn't think of you. You know yeah, what I'm remember saying? Remember that picture we took down there at the spot? That was the, the picture. Mm-hmm. Did he shut that down, too. Yeah, we, we had a good time. Yeah, uh, Trent Atelier. Shout out to them. Mm-hmm. Pete, you know. Mm-hmm. That was last year at the uh, at the Calwood Park. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've been around, you know. Like, yeah, yeah, you represent me. Yeah, yeah. It feels good to pull up at a vet. Like, hey, they go Gandhi. It, it, When's the next show? Mm-hmm. You know, you talk about gangsters. I'm like, um, <laughs> yeah. Free free, Hold bro. on, I don't know if you can come to the show. Yeah, you can come. Yeah. You feel me? Your rap is nothing but poetry without the beat. That's all. As long as you come with humbleness and, and you know, we be good. Shout out to my baby girl. We just got engaged. Oh, oh you yeah, so, so tell us about being engaged, man. Oh, it's a one thank you guys. Yeah, so, um, oh, I ain't that round of cool. applause. The, the, cool. the studio audience gave a round of applause. I just need it's it. cool. Um it's 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 it's, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. We've been together for five years. Mm. Everybody already thought we was married. You know, you, just, you met her at your first show. I met her at my first show. Golly. My first man, show. We went to breakfast that, that morning and we've been and, and yeah, y'all, we went to the, breakfast that morning. We went to, uh, the, so what you stayed out all night with no, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh I'm about to I say that. Like, like, oh. Yeah, oh, no okay. Uh, that. No, matter of no, fact, no, just no. that out. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm out of line. No, because I called you the next morning. I said, We have breakfast with you. Mm-hmm. And we went down to the diner up on South Broad Street Diner. And That's we, a good diner. Yeah, we go there on our anniversaries and stuff like that. Oh, man. That, and, uh, that it, hit me right history. here. Thank you. That hit me right here. That's, that's beautiful to know that, man. That, that's, 
Yeah. Black love is still alive it and is. existing, it man. It really is, man. It really it is. is. It really is. We got some clips. I'm sitting here and I remember these shows. This is the, the magic. That dude look like Common, man. <laughs> wow. Not common name? No, that's not common. But that young man's name is Ron Sincere. Ron uh, Sincere. Oh. And uh, Chris Crisis. Those Chris guys. Chris Crisis. Oh, yeah. He can. Oh, Good people. Good goodness. people. Those guys. That's the uh, hot. Good hot. people. And then he come here to Trenton. And when people came, we had people coming out from Delaware. We yeah. had people coming out. Forrest, uh, a young lady came out, poet. She flew in from Atlanta, Georgia. To come to Trenton. She, to come to Trenton. To come to GPS. At the so I'm thinking, oh, you man, building up the work. city, man. Yeah, I'm I do my part. You do. I will do my. Everybody try my do their small part. It'd be good. Man, look, everybody but, hey, did that. We gonna have to when you when you get the date locked down okay. for the next GPS. You got to come, come back. Soon. I sure will. Sure. Boom, because me and then we, me and you gonna have a firm sit down, just me and you the whole time. All right. Because this man like to talk. And this know, man like to talk, and I like to talk. Yeah, between tickets, the both of us. Yeah, tickets be at the door, man. Your money's no good. You know? Oh yes. I'm oh, okay. Serious. Got hey, Joey, and, everyone and, here. And truth told, he always told me that I just be, you know, I'm man, I, I'm terrible, man. It's <laughs> good. I'm I terrible. I, my heart's there. I understand. My heart is I really there. Do. So, I really do. any parting words? Get the last parting word. Hey, let's get uh, it. Trent, I love you. Shout out to everybody on Facebook. You guys have been wonderful. And listen, GPS, GPS will be back with vengeance. I love you guys. You rock. Boom. All right, thanks for coming on. All right, brother. thank you. I mean, yo, you are awesome. All right, we back. Second guest of the day, we got my man, author, poet. Now, you ain't a poet, is he? No, you a poet? Not necessarily. Yeah, I you could be a poet. Possibly. That's have a problem rhyming sometimes. Oh, but yeah, you can't can't be a good poet. You can't rhyme. Tell the people who you are, what you do, what you're about, brother. Uh, my name is Jared Broach. Um, first, I would like to say it's an honor, Tyrone, to be here. No, uh, thanks, thanks. An honor, honor uh, you and uh, Joe. He's doing a, a real good thing here. You know, I think so. so. Seriously, I am um, honored to be here. I even um, say that I would hope that um, all leaders and all people that are really doing something would uh, show their appreciation even sometimes. Right. Write in, call in, go online, just to let you guys know, like I'm doing. And I appreciate what you're doing for this outlet. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you coming on. And um, Joey does too. He's busy right now producing though, but you know. I recently uh, wrote an ebook uh, entitled He Who Has an Eye to See Best Fear. Um, now the explain the title, bro. Now, when we gave it to Joey, mm -hmm. the board man, he was a little confused. He's like, what do well, I don't hold on? See well, here, I don't get it. Well, let's um, break it down. He, he who has an eye to see best here is basically based on a, a, a saying of, of Jesus in, in, the, in the New Testament, which he would say, he who has an ear to hear best here is basically saying the same thing. However, I added um, in that he who has an eye to see because I believe in when you visualize something and you uh, begin to speak that thing into existence. That's right. It begins to have a better opportunity to manifest. That's right. For you in your life. That's right. So, um, uh, that's that's uh, ebook. I'm, it's been years and and to make it. Um, I, I had an opportunity to make it a couple of years back, but it just wasn't the time for me. Right. You know, I'm, I'm married now and um, happily married. I have uh, three children. We have. Oh, that's and, beautiful. Um, you know, it was. It, it, I think this was a perfect time for it. Right. Um, I'm also a minister now. Oh, congratulations and, um, to that, man. Which I'm proud of. Um, yeah, you should be. You know. Um, I'm at Yielded Vessels. Uh, that's a, a church on uh, Whitehead Road in Lawrence Township, New Jersey, which is pastored by um, Nadira Key, Pastor Nadira Key. And it's, it's an awesome church, and it welcomes everyone from all walks of life. doesn't matter uh, social status, economic status, right. racial status. Right. It's just we're really trying to uh, do something different. That's that's what it's all about. You just want to bring in the people to the Lord. Yes, sir. Race, creed, religion. Yeah. Fat, skinny, ugly. If you're ugly, you can go to this church. Yeah, Joey can go to this church. Like, Joey, you know, you should go to this church. Ugly people get to go. Yeah. Oh, that's 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 what's that right there, brother? Um. Well, the picture itself. Um. I I took. Uh, I had gotten a car accident two years back. I uh, got was totaled, and um, I it's came out that. came out without a scratch. Uh. Thanks be to God. I I took that picture. Uh, went and that's at the uh, the yard, the junkyard where my car was, my um, 2000 highly sophisticated Trans Am. You had a 2000 yeah, Trans Am, yes, sir. and you totaled it. You was going too fast, wasn't you? No, I, I was totaled, and for the record, I'm on TV, I'll tell, tell the truth. That uh, I, I, it was it was not my fault. No, it wasn't your it fault. Was I, not, believe, I believe, I believe, you, brother. Fault. And um, when I the sun had came out, and then it went away real fast. When I when I was at the place, I took a picture, and in that picture. 
There's some interesting things. I'm not going to give away the secret, but if you really look closely at the picture, you can see some things up there. I'm gonna go. That's on your Facebook page. Um, yes. I'm gonna yes. go and look at it, man, because I ain't you get a chance be. yet. And I ain't got my glasses on, so I ain't um, that good at seeing that well. But so, you know. So I took that picture. It's called 113 Revelations. They're basically 113. Actually, I threw one extra, and it's actually 114 of different uh, uh, sayings and prayers and just different things that I was coming from. Again, my roots was in the uh, Pentecostal church right. uh, background. Um, where um, we learn that just even in hard times, to just hold on and, and uh, trust in the Lord and that he would bring you out. It didn't matter who you were, like I said before, it didn't right. matter where you were from. Right. You had the same access if you just believed. And um, what I did was I put all those together. And then uh, this particular website, they said, you know what, we'll publish it for free, uh, booktangle.com. Can't go wrong with that. So I told them, I said, you said free? Yeah, free. And, yeah. Uh, they verified. And uh, that was that. Hey, that's a beautiful thing, man. That's how it all starts. So now, tell me the how your life has changed going from, I don't know if y'all know, I'm going to give y'all a breakdown. About 1995, this guy was a track star from Notre Dame High School. I'm, I'm going to throw it out there. So I know you had a lot of, you know, girls in your life, a lot of women, a lot of, you know, things you were doing. And that wasn't necessarily right. Explain the change of going from that young man that was living a free you know, you was not saying you weren't spiritual. You probably were spiritual, but you just was, you know, a little different yeah. to being a, a married man, minister, author. It was a big change. And again, I, I believe it started with the mindset, my mindset. Um, I started to understand a few things um, that, you know, I, I, I thought this isn't this isn't working well for me. I mean, right. it was fun. I have to be honest. A lot of people, they say, well, you know, when I was in the world and this and that, it, it was horrible. And when I, got, <laughs> when I finally found the Lord, it got fun. But it, for me, it was fun then, and it's fun now, what I'm right. doing. I have to be a total transparent, which um, I don't want to fake. But um, that's a good thing. What I found was that even back then, I was kind of nerdy back then. You right. know? So it's like I even if, if a girl was staring me in the face and, and she felt a certain way, I still wouldn't know until like 10 people told me. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, the girl like you. Yeah, no, they really, you know. Yeah, but, yeah um, she like you, man. Trust me, I know. But with the sports and everything, too, it's like, Sometimes, even with things that are positive, if you have too much of it, it can be a distraction. Right. And that's how it was for me. I realized that I was somewhat distracted by the things of the, um, you know, that I, that I had around me and right. the things I was doing. So when I found the Lord, um, I, I, I believe I started to change the way my way of thinking. So even when I was still running and doing sports and everything, I just had a different mindset. Right. So, you, you were doing it, but... I didn't think of it the same yeah, way. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I got you, brother. That's, and then that's how good. I treat people. I wasn't treating people too nice back then. Yeah. And even up until recently, you know. It's you like was I, mean a couple of years I was, ago? I was just sarcastic on oh, the sarcastic side. Sarcastic <laughs> not really mean, man. That's just, sarcastic is just, you know, I don't know how to take sarcastic. Joey's sarcastic. Uh, now you have, yeah, he's very sarcastic. <laughs> we, what? That's another story for another day. Yeah. Now, who's that beautiful young lady? No, that's my wife. That's Elaine Broach. Oh, Beautiful woman. And, and, and again, well, I, now don't jump on me. <laughs> and, and again, hey, hey, watch it. Now, and again, <laughs> I said, you know, when I met her as well, my life began to take a dramatic change for the better. Right. You know, she helped me to basically come 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 alive. Right. And, and in a lot of ways. That's what they say your, your partner's supposed to do in life. They're supposed to, you know, yin and yang. You you pick her up when she's weak, you vice versa. Yes, yeah, sir. All right. So, but that's what happened with, with, with that. That's beautiful, man. So, what what how can the people get in touch with you for what you know the church the book all the all the good things you do well um they can call uh 609-433-4140 uh, and that's our basic uh business number and that's um, for the church that's for the that's for the church as well as the book and then even my wife actually is having an event oh yeah yeah so on saturday oh let's talk about that mm -hmm. uh, well the event's basically um dealing with uh, the midwife and doula community, the health uh, mm -hmm. community and lifestyle. It's uh, honoring the, the granny midwives, the black granny midwives that really were delivering babies and, and uh, right. taking care of families years and years before it became uh, uh, really a big thing in, our, in the medical industry. Right. Right. That's going to be on Saturday at the conservatory on uh, East State Street, 540 East State Street at 1.30. Oh, okay. Uh, it's going to cost $12, but again, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be inspiring, empowering. Uh, there's going to be guest speakers. In fact, the uh, the movie is going to be shown, bringing in, bringing in the spirit. Right. And uh, Rhonda Haynes is the director of that she's actually going to be there. Some of the people that were in the movie is going to be there. That's cool. And it's sort of like a come together and network and just really learn, uh, be educated on the history 
and um, also it's free lunch included. Hey, so, so, that's, so that's twelve dollar lunch. You pretty can't, much. you can't beat. Yeah, that. no, you get all the other stuff for free lunch. Why, why are you trying to say free lunch? Because you know I'm a big man. Uh, not necessarily. That's, that's, what, that's what he's trying to do. That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to be slick, man. He said, "Yeah, free lunch." What free lunch? I'm there. I did. I, want, I did want to say um, we've been blessed too to um, open a fitness studio. Right. It's going to be on South Olden Avenue. Um, mm-hmm. We actually now are getting together the last bit of equipment and doing a little design work into it. Right. But uh, JTG Fitness uh, Extreme dot com is our website. JTGFitnessExtreme.com? Yes, and the extreme is as JTG Fitness X, as in the letter dash stream, T R E M E right. dot com, is the site where um, the more uh, information can be uh, gathered about that. It's We're really trying to um, promote health as a way of life. Right. Now, there's tons of gyms around. And, it's uh, me, but you, they can't go there and get mind, body, and spirit. Exactly. So you exactly. could give them all, the whole shebang. That's what we want to do. We want to promote um, uh, uh, the lifestyle when you're outside of the gym. Right. You know, doing what you do in the gym, but outside in different ways. So if you're uh, even the people you hang around, getting sleep, getting rest, drinking water, uh, having positive influences around you, stuff like that, that makes a difference in the results, too. Absolutely. And, and on a lot of the gyms, I hate to say, they lock you into these contracts. Terrible. And uh, some of them, you even have to go to court to get out of them. Yeah, uh, I experienced yeah. that myself a couple of times. You went to court to get I out of them. Mention their names, yeah. Oh man, mention their name. Well, nah, you a man of God now. <laughs> you a man of God. Whispered in my ear, and I say, I ain't a man of God. Well, I'm a man of God, but forget that. Let's just change the subject. Yeah. So, so um, boom. So, so that's what we want to do. We want to offer uh, nutrition plans. We want to offer stress uh, relief plans, as well as uh, personal training. I'm also certified uh, personal trainer. Man, you was a busy man, brother. Well, well, hey, I'm, I'm thankful to God for it. I'm thankful to God that you had the time to stop on through, man. Any last words you want to give to people? Um, I just want to say um, for those that are going through uh, different hard times as far as whether it's financially or emotional, I mean, it's a lot going on now in our lives, and, and it could be overwhelming. Right. And um, most people, um, you know, resort to different things to deal with it. Um, my, my advice is to, um, to pray. And, Absolutely, and um, right. also to understand that um, there's other things that you could do to replace your time. Like so, what I would like to share is just a be better time management. Like think positive things. Go out even if it's just a healthy walk. Go over someone's house that's really positive, that believes in you, that lifts you up. Right. Sort of like cut out the negativity, the negative people. Um, drink more water, rest. But uh, again, mm-hmm. just pray. You know, it, it does make a difference. Prayer ch- changes things. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Jerry, thank you for coming on, brother. Best thank of luck with all the projects because you got a lot going on, man. Thank you, my brother. Hey. Appreciate it. Thank you, Joey. All right. Next and last guest of the day is the most energetic man I know, man. This dude right here. Look, look, look. I'm, I ain't going to tell y'all how much promo stuff he got with him. Right now, I'm gonna just let him introduce himself. You get, I want to hear your, your speech, man. I know you got a story, and I got a story to tell you after this too. But you go ahead, and give yours, and bang, give it to him. You better call on Tyrone. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> I brought call my boy his shirt, uh, hurting feelings. Yeah, you know, something fresh oh, for my boy. I like that hurting feelings. I try man. to, I try to come off when I can. Hurting um, feelings. That's what I'm doing. Hurting feelings right now, chumps. <laughs> dude is doing big things out here. Everybody knows it. Uh, I want to say thanks to everybody for bringing me in. Joey Culkin, Tyrone, everybody. Uh, we about to be getting some money over here. Yeah, we definitely are. Trying so, to, uh, you know, spread the positive vibes throughout the youth. But, uh, so tell us about, matter of fact, I got a story to tell you. Go ahead. So I'm having my last show at All Call In. All right. All right. So I'm there. And this is when I was doing, um, I was doing Worst Cooks in America. I had just shot it and I came back and I'm, out, I'm over there talking to people, doing all this stuff. And this lady walks over to me. She said, you know what? You need to get with my son. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who's your son? Well, you might know me. Does t-shirts? Wow. And she said, uh, "Dirty fresh." Wow, you met Sean. Dirty all, fresh. All lit up. On Dirty that. fresh. You, oh <laughs> man, it was a good time, man. I don't, she wasn't fully there, but she was partially there. She said, "Dirty fresh." That's what she kept saying. Dirty fresh. I said, "Dirty fresh." Dirty, dirty fresh. I said, I said "What's his name?" She said, "Travis." Travis. 
I know that. We friends on Facebook. Oh, is that is that Ron Jeremy? <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah, yeah, we made that happen. Uh, we made a lot of things happen. I mean, I got eight celebrity endorsements uh, through just good friends and having good people in my circle. It goes back to what my man was saying over here, keeping positive people in a circle. That's right. Uh, you ain't going to get nowhere thinking negative. I can tell you that much. But I, I was blessed with a little one two years ago. And honestly, without him, I wouldn't have pushed it nearly as hard as I did. Congratulations. Um, God bless you. Thank you, sir. Um, right now, uh, I'm out back Tony in the street, Mac. me and Tony Mac, we're just chilling out, you know what I mean? Tony Mac, everybody knows Tony Mac. It's man. good to get positive help from people, man, uh, yeah. whatever the situation may be right now. But, uh, <laughs> what are you trying to say? I support everyone that supports me, pretty <laughs> what much. What are you trying to say? I don't care what nobody says about Tyrone. That was smooth. Well, all right, yeah, I got you, I got you. I, I got, you got my back? <laughs> right, I'm with you, man. I don't but, care what uh, nobody say, regardless of their situation. Y'all get that in your window if you want it. <laughs> it's a Trenton revival going on right That's now. That's right. Uh, there's a lot of people who are putting in good work, and uh, I'm just trying. I'm blessed to be in, in the circle with you. Uh, yeah, that's hey man, you definitely are. Cause people, I, I ain't know you before today, but I knew you. There you go. Like Facebook could do it, man. I seen them on Facebook, Dirty Jersey Fire. I like that, man. I seen stickers all over the place. I tell you what, we were in the mall for six months. We were killing it. We were beating out stores like our, our brands, like Dirty Ghetto Kids and major skate companies and stuff like that. So it was cool to see it actually work. Right now, I'm spreading out through uh, a bunch of flea markets, a bunch of nightclubs, uh, a bunch of outdoors kind of events. We're just trying to spread it out, spreading the freshness, of course. Right, absolutely. Uh, I branded this as the New Jersey Super Brand, uh, the official New Jersey clothing company. Uh, I just went out and took stuff because nobody else was doing it. Right. I was upset after a while of uh, nothing original to go out and buy in the stores. Yeah. So, uh, like, like like Joey Culkin's, oh, wow. We, it's fresh. I yeah, mean, fresh. You can't go wrong we, with that. <laughs> yeah. We got no. female clothes, Where was I for that, baby man? clothes, women's yeah. clothes. Here's what I do. I send clothes out uh, to these girls who, who beg for it on Facebook, and then they send me back pictures, and I throw them on the website. So uh, anybody who's looking to get famous. That's marketing genius, man. Contact Tyrone. Yeah. Contact Dirty Jersey man. Fresh. Contact Joey Culkin at the Transonian. I'll plug you in, man. <laughs> Yeah, that, it sounds like a good plan, man. So if you want to, uh, you know, drop it like it's hot, you got you got underwear, right? You got thongs and all oh, that? Oh, yeah, booty yeah. shorts, thongs. Booty shorts, oh, yeah. White so for the listen, then maybe we can get y'all on page six and we just work this all the way out, man. That'll be hot, right? It'd be like all across everything. Yeah. People need to wake up out here and really start coming together and trying to create positive movements. And, That's right. Uh, I mean, the only thing you can do by yourself is fail, to be honest with you. Uh, the minute you lose your ego and come together is the minute you will start to succeed. And uh, the money will come together and uh, materialize as long as you're Dealing with the right cats. You know? That's right. You got to build a strong squad out here. That's the hardest part. Yeah. And that, that's that's half the arm. That's half the battle right there. Man, Having somebody that you could trust and believe in sitting with you. Good luck. Yeah, man. Good luck. Yeah. But when you find that loyalty, man, just try to keep your people together. Uh, Snoop Dogg, his first dude that made him a beat, he never had to work again in his life. He took him with him the whole way. That's, that's how it needs to be. That's how it has to be. It's a shame. So, it ain't like that. But. So since I got my hurt and feeling shirts, I'm riding with you for the rest of my life, man. So when I'm pop, you pop. That's the plan. I appreciate it. Yeah, and I'm going to hit you up for free shirts all the time. National TV. Yeah, yeah. That feels good, man. Next time I go on TV, I'm wearing this shirt, man. (laughs) It gets hurting feelings. And you'll know then. Pretty much. We're trying to get this brand into a bunch of different stores, uh, as many as we can. So mom and pop joints, uh, they appreciate appreciate us a little bit more. Uh, right. Commercial companies aren't really trying to let us in right now. That's okay. We're going to beast our way in eventually. But uh, we're looking to get into mom and pop spots. We're looking to get into mall spots. Skate shops appreciate us for some reason. Um but that's pretty much where it's at now. We're just spreading the freshness. I'm trying, I'm trying to start a wiffle ball league out here. Spreading the too. freshness. I love it, man. <laughs> yeah. That dude got his own tag on and everything. We just spreading the freshness, man. I'm, I'm gonna start saying that when I go. I'm gonna go to hey, I was just out there spreading the freshness. Before I die, I'm gonna have a field out here for for baseball for wiffle kids. Ball. And wiffle ball. That's what I'm trying to start off with. Uh, it's gonna be called Stanley Fields. That's my goal. Uh, you know what I mean? Ain't, ain't, there's not a lot left out here when you go. Uh, so when I put these stickers on all these telephone poles, I'm doing it for a reason. That's right. Uh, so when my son is here, and I'm not anymore, he still sees me here. But nah, this is going to live on uh, way after me. Uh, hopefully he gets control of it in the future and has a way to uh, provide for his family as well. That's right. That's right. I just feel like I just want to do this just because, you know, bang. So see that? You keep talking, man. I'm just the way talking. I see it, look, if we sell mm-hmm. one shirt to everybody in New Jersey, right. we're multi-millionaires. We sell one, one, shirt? one shirt to half the people in New Jersey. We're multimillionaires. This is the most densely populated state in the country. If we can't do it here, we ain't going to do it nowhere. Um, besides booty shorts, onesies, hoodies, and all that kind of stuff. So it can definitely be done. So right now what I'm doing is I'm having um, – <laughs> I'm having uh, – I'm trying to build – I want represent. – I'm sorry. I want representatives in each county of the state uh, by the end of it all. And I'm going to ship out bundles of Dirty Jersey Fresh product to everybody that I got located in every county of the state. I want to be like the Liberty Tax guy with you, man. 
I'm gonna just go outside and be holding this sign. Yeah, yeah, Jersey, Jersey, fresh, baby. Yeah, that'd be hot. Man. It's a no-brainer, man. It's a home run. It's obvious. So look, we're we're looking for somebody with the power out there that's got some bread. Come and invest with this company. Um, whatever it takes. If I got to give you guys the trademark uh, licensing for you to distribute it yourselves, mass produce it yourselves, and put me in the stores, fine. Let's do it. Um, I'm ready to get some bread. I'm ready to team up. Let's get some money. Let's get some money. <laughs> Next level. Right here. So Boom. yeah, I'm trying to get everybody in Trenton a shirt. All my friends that haven't gotten one yet, don't be mad at me. I mean, if I got a lot of people that I'm friends with. And if I gave everybody a shirt, I'd be broker than I am right now. Yeah. I'm lucky I made it down here on fumes in the truck. But, uh, <laughs> that's your truck outside? Yeah, it's a nice yeah, truck. Yeah, oh, that's a good. That's, he got the baddest truck in the city, boy. Champagne, that's what I'm going to tell you. I campaign heavy. Yeah. Uh, that's See me in the champagne chef. Ooh. Yo, just stop, stop. Yeah, he, he rhyming that too, y'all. I used to spit back in the day. Yeah. I got two, I got uh, four songs registered on iTunes right now. They're distributing uh, worldwide. But yeah. that, that was my hustle four years ago. I had to fall back. Uh, I was hurting too many feelings. Yeah, hey. And hence the shirt. Hurting feelings. And uh, like I said, I stopped that. I'm doing a t-shirt thing now. I just like to have fun. So there's a lot of people doing music right now. Actually, we're trying to put together a Woodstock in New Jersey. We're trying to get every act we can and uh, all the vendors that we know and just have a real positive event. Uh, bring everybody out. And uh, try to make some money on top of putting everybody on. That's, that's what it needs to be. Absolutely. Yo, I really appreciate this. Uh, oh, man, you I appreciate you coming, me. brother. You know I, mean? I appreciate you coming. Not hey, too. man, this man promotes, and I respect your hustle, man. Now, I don't say that to everybody, but this man works hard. I, like, for real. I didn't know who he was, but I knew Dirty Jersey Fresh before I knew him. Give the info on how the people can get at you. You can, you can Google Dirty Jersey Fresh. Uh, I stay out in Trenton all day. You can hit me on the phone. The phone number's the same. Uh, Facebook is big right now. A lot of people on Facebook. You can Google us and find us, you know, doing anything that we're doing right now. I uh, just want to give a quick uh, thank you to Joey Culkin again. You better call on Tyrone if you want to get up here and push your own brand. Bang. Everybody in the streets need to you know, wake up a little bit and uh, come out here and try to put some work in with the team. Like I said, come together, man. All this, That's uh, it. All this ego stuff is for the birds. Drop the ego, man. <laughs> for real, really. Do something with yourself. Check them out. Yeah, I promote hard. Hey, man. stay fresh out there. I love it. Stay fresh out there. Yeah, hey, it's been another Tyrone Miller Show. Three great guests. See y'all next week, man. It's been beautiful. Bang. Dirty Jersey Fresh. Boom, boom. You already know. That's just something. You guys are